The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. Yeah, I'm fine, but you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate. Go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. You're going to have more days you don't want to do something then you are gonna want to. Most days, you're not gonna be pumped up. Most days, you're gonna feel weak. Most days, you're gonna wanna stay in bed. Most days, you're gonna feel like most people do. But if you do what most people do, which is give yourself reasons to not get the tasks done, not get to work, not get out of bed, you're gonna end up like most people, barely getting by, being unhappy with their lives. You gotta make a different decision. You gotta decide enough is enough. You've had enough of being average and ordinary. You're tired of being mediocre. You're now gonna push yourself. It's gonna feel better when it's over. You know that when you get done doing the hard thing, it's gonna feel better. Waking up, working out, taking care of some tedious task. You know you will feel better when it is done. You also know that if you don't do the hard thing, the thing that you don't want to do, that you don't feel like doing, you know if you don't do it, you're going to feel inferior. You know you're going to feel weak. And that feeling, that horrible feeling, you know that feeling too. You know it. You know it's true. Those are the two outcomes. One will cause you some short-term gratification. You'll get to sleep a little bit more. You won't have to put out during a workout. You don't have to do this tedious task. You'll get some short-term gratification, but the long-term regret will be strong and it will inflict pain on you. Successful people do one thing more than others. Make movement. They get it done. While most people are slacking off, relaxing, wasting their time, the winners in the world are putting in work studying their craft, practicing, running drills on how to perform better, putting in all those extra hours when everyone's already gone home. And of course, you'll get tired. You'll get worn out. You'll feel exhausted and lazy and not want to work. And you'll have some really, really rough days. But when that happens, you got to tell yourself, I will not stop. I don't care what I have to go through. I'm going to get this done no matter what. You do what you know you need to do to move forward. And when you do that thing, you know you're going to feel strong and you're going to feel gratified and you're going to feel worthy of this life. That's how you're going to feel when you do what you're supposed to do. Remember that. Remember that the pain right now will absolutely pay off in the future. And the capitulation and the conceding defeat to weakness, that will absolutely result in the pain of regret and remorse later. You know this to be true, so don't allow it. Remember the feeling of victory that comes from doing the right thing, the hard thing. Remember that feeling and then go get it done. The work comes before the belief. You're gonna have to do some work and you're gonna have to keep doing it consistently, even when you're not seeing the results, even when you feel like giving up. And eventually, results will begin to sprout as you do this. And when that happens, you're gonna build faith, build belief in what it is you're doing. You start to realize, hey, I can really do this. This is actually working. And as you work more, more success sprouts. You're going to start to create something. You have no motivation, you have no drive, you have no ambition, but you're gonna force it to happen anyway because that's what bad motherfuckers do and that's what you are. You're going to go through day by day by day doing the work regardless of how you feel like it. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a little bit of a result. And when you see that little bit of result, you're gonna get happy and what's going to happen in your brain is it's going to open up the possibilities for you of what you can actually achieve because now you can clearly see that if I do the work, this result will happen. And when this result starts to happen, you get excited and guess what comes with the excitement, the motivation. The inches we need to become dominant in any field of life are all around us. 
It's in every task, every project, every mission, every day, every second. When you do the small things, how do you do them? Because if you're putting in 120% in those small tasks, I know for sure you're doing it in everything else. It's the people who are willing to do twice as much as anyone else. Those are the people who end up winning. You go the extra mile, you push through the extra round, you do those extra reps. That's what defines if you become first or forgotten. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not gonna help them toward the goal. And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You gotta be focused entirely on your dreams, entirely on your goals. When you're great, you don't just focus on a week. You don't just focus on a month. You don't just focus on a year. You concentrate on the 24 hours that's in front of you and work as hard as possible to nail it. You dominate in the dark when nobody sees you, when no one knows what you're doing. Those late hours and early mornings where you're working your ass off. Nothing feels better than giving everything you have to the grind. And a lot of people are confused as to how high drive, high success people can wake up every day and go at it. It's because they know that even if they feel bad, even if they don't feel like doing it, if they push through just a little bit, just a few more days, they're gonna see something that is gonna start to make them feel good. It's gonna give them belief, it's gonna get them motivation, and it's gonna make them feel like doing this is absolutely worth it, and not only worth it, but exciting. So if you're in this phase where it doesn't feel like it's worth it, where it doesn't feel like it's very fun, just remember, if you keep going and you do not let your feelings dictate what your actions will be, the results will always be there. When you get to sit back and unwind after working yourself to the bone for those goals and dreams, you'll feel a sense of pride you might have never felt before. But you only ever get to that point if you get up and get to work. The time of year, we try to make our dreams come true. But the reality of all that is sacrifice. And those dreams quickly become nightmares. But in those nightmares are where our demons lie. That's the domain in which they know we don't want to go into all those early mornings. It wakes up all these things that we failed at. Those demons are in those nightmares. That's what keeps us from accomplishing our dreams. So this year, their back is turned to the doorway. Because they know you ain't going in the nightmare land, but you're going in there. And when the backs are turned, you're going to rear naked and choke them motherfuckers out. Every one of them. That's the mentality you must have and always have. People want to find peace immediately. You're going to find peace from going to war with yourself. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. We are in control of our mind. We believe it's the other way around. No, we put in our minds what we should do. We have to reprogram it and tell us, no, 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 we're good. This sucks, but it's okay. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. In order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. You really have got to put all of yourself into it. It's very challenging to act, to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. What most of us are looking for is this special feeling you know, oh, I feel great this morning. I'm going to get out of bed and get a quick five miles and go to the gym. If you're looking for that feeling, let me tell you one thing, it ain't going to come. You have to learn to do when you don't want to do. Learn to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gets up about how he feels or how she feels? Then it's do it. Learn to be your best self when you're least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. You should fucking quit. You should quit fucking quitting. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be fucking hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the bleeding, without the pain, without the depression, without the misery. Nobody. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept 
the struggle as part of the recipe. Every single day you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is whatever the fuck I have to, you'll get there in time. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You have to constantly over that motherfucking machine. The machine is your mind. You gotta keep challenging it every day. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. Life is one big head game. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. I've changed for the better. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm going to harness this. It is only up from here. I'm going to come back even stronger. Back a year ago